Hello, my name's Eleanor and I'm a gardener horticulturist and I'm self-employed and I work for people in their gardens. So today is another sort of book haul, is that what they call it? Maybe. A book haul, a book list, reference books that I use when I'm trying to learn Latin, plant names, getting endlessly frustrated because it's a very difficult thing to do. And yes, I'm six years in and it doesn't always click. People say there might be a click and you'll suddenly start to get it. But personally, I still find it quite difficult every day. So let's get into it. Do I start with the biggest book or should I start with the smallest book? I think I'm gonna start with the tiniest book because that's, that's more fun. This book is a reference book. It's a glossary of terms and it's a guide. It's by Johnson and Smith. It's called Plant Names Simplified. Simplified, you think would mean easy. However, this is the inside of it. It really is a glossary. So what they've done here is it's common plants that you'll find in your area. Um, not specifically your area, but like it's, it's British. So it's plants that you will find in the UK more often than others, because obviously there's hundreds of thousands of perennials and this book is how many pages? Not enough, 120. Obviously it's listed in A to Z. So it will give you A to Z. So if you sort of know roughly what you're looking at, it will give that to you and what this does is it breaks down latin words into the pronunciation so you have the latin word here and you'll have the pronunciation and this will give you really good intel on so it's the words so it will give you it's it could be a color it could be that the plant is spiny it could be sort of like the shape of its leaves it could be how fast it grows how big it grows it could be that it has flowers so it gives you an idea on the plants situation its origin where it will grow where it will thrive and learning plant names like this can be really difficult so i use it as a reference book i wouldn't read this book and digest it all and if you can that's seriously impressive but also a bit scary you so when you learn a plant name like salvia for example that i've got here it also gives you lots of different salvias so it'll give you salvia and then it will say argentia so you know then that the salvia argentia means silvery so you'll know that the salvia will be, you know, have silvery sort of leaves. That's how you can tell what a plant's growth and it will look like. I find this book very useful. I've had it years and years. You can see the front of it is like, oh, maybe you can't. Can you see the front of it? It's like all scratched up. Oh, there we go. Um, I keep this one on hand in the van quite a lot of the time because it's really, really useful to be able to just double check on things, especially since where I work, I barely get any phone signals, so I can't just Google it. So it's really good to have one of these on hand. And also I find, you know, taking in the plant names one by one instead of as a group of 10 or 20, it sticks and I sort of remember the plant where it was and where it is and what situation it is and remember the name from that. It gives it like a story and a way to absorb it without it just being like reading a list and writing it back down just in a studious way. It gives it a practical side to it, which is what my mind is geared to. And if yours is too, then I fully recommend this book for, you know, just taking notes from. It's really inexpensive. I think this was like five pounds or something from Amazon. I don't recommend Amazon. <laughs> Even though I probably said in my last video too, I do not recommend buying from Amazon. This also will probably be in a charity shop, but less likely than the other gardening books I recommended, as it's more like specialized and botany based. However, find an independent bookshop, they might sell it. If not, go through Amazon, but click the link and then find the shop that sells it and then buy it from there. Unless you need it like tomorrow, in which case obviously buy it. Um, but yeah, I found this really useful studying horticulture and also just the fact that I love plants, this came in really useful as well. Moving on up in size, I have the RHS Latin for Gardeners. Once again, it's RHS. This book was very interesting. It's definitely got, it's got pictures, which is an upgrade from the other tiny book. This is one you'd keep on your bookshelf and it's a bit more expensive. I think this was about 15 pounds or so. Um, however, in this book, it's also listed A to Z, but you also have pictures as well. And it will tell you like, little plant facts and a bit about plant history and plant historians they are all men i believe although i haven't checked every single page again so there could be a woman in there i don't know or a person this gives you a lot more space it's better laid out well for me anyway it gives you more space in between the plants it's much easier to sort of take in all the information rather than being a sort of overwhelmed with it all at once the pictures are really useful as i said it also does a big focus page on 
plants that you will find so this is the sort of a to z page here and then this is a special page called pa this is passiflora the page of passiflora which is a passion flower do grow passion fruit however probably not in your average container plant down the street and it will give you a more in-depth discussion on that plant and these plants are quite common and you'll find them quite a lot of the time so it's good to have a bit of extra info on these plants and be able to share that with your clients to impress them or to share that with your fellow horticultural students yeah i've had this book for years and as i say it's only got about three thousand plants but i think that's enough for a beginner it's definitely enough for me and i've been doing it a while this will also help you find out the plant situation and where it will grow best and just from the names but obviously you might have to do extra research on that yourself just to make sure the plant lives and thrives because it's money on the line and obviously a plant on the line and you want it to live a little happy life. I also chose to include the RHS Botany for Gardeners. Now this isn't necessarily about Latin plant names. However, it really goes with plant science and botany is quite a difficult thing to get hold of information to study from. Well, I find that good ones anyway. And I find that this one is really useful. It sort of teaches you about um, pollination, hormones, different historians once again and I haven't checked this one this could all be men again not that there's anything wrong with that but you know um, it teaches you about cells it teaches you about rhizomes and bulbs and the different structure of the plant it teaches you about plant history and structures and leaf structure flowers and like buds and everything you possibly want in between and about growth and development and I think this goes really well with the Latin plant names because obviously the Latin will tell you a bit about the plant and then you learn the science behind that and also I find that talking to people they have lots of different terms for things and like this acts as like a glossary for those terms so you can impress people with your like buzzwords and make sure they know that you do know what you're talking about and also just to go alongside with your studying this works well as well and then we've got the last one now this is a bit of a wild card choice as well but this is the what plant where by the rhs this has over 3,000 plants it is massive it's also quite expensive i think this was about the 30 pound mark um this will be found in charity shops i know it's intense to have to go to different charity shops and find these books and obviously it's difficult if you're still isolating or you're not comfortable with going out into shops however lots of these places have set up online and i'm sure you'll be able to find these big books online for a cheaper price than 25. so this is what plant wear and quite simply it does what it says in the title it gives you a whole host of different plants a big list and they list them into situations you know shady corners sun exposed corn like bits uh, clay soil waterlogged soil deer proof rabbit proof and you can it will give you a good double page triple page spread on these different plants and their plant names and I find learning a plant name, as I said, when it comes to a situation often sticks better in my mind than it does just the raw plant name with no context and no whatever. So these books are really useful and they also come with pictures. So that eliminates the need to sort of imagine what the plant looks like or Google it alongside. Most of these plants have pictures. In fact, let me see if I can find a page. Right, this is the summer planting for containers page. And as you can see, all the plants have pictures and you can see the color scheme and what they look like. Invaluable information and will also help you, you know, make a plant suggestion for a client. So if they say in my container, I've got a so-and-so, you can say, you know, what would work really well with that is X, whatever, whatever you decide to say, you can say anything. And obviously it's only 3000 plants and there are hundreds of thousands of them. Once, as I said, it gives you a really good advance on maybe people in your, people in your class um, so you you know you don't always feel overwhelmed or like you're under delivering and it also just gives you a sort of kickstart into learning the different plant names and learning as many as you want to learn because you know you could cap at a certain point and just learn some occasionally there's no pressure anyway thank you for watching my video and I really hope these books help you in the future you know drop me a comment if you'd like to talk about this further at the end of the day just browse browse websites and enjoy learning it because it is quite fun it does take a hot minute but it is fun at the end of the day anyway thank you and i'll see you guys in my next video